You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com. We're gonna hang on. Before, let me see if I got a cup. Let's let's make this. There we go. There we go. I know you millennial kids and Gen Zers thought Barack Obama was going to solve all your problems. I'm not joking. This book will solve them more. All right, there we go. Get the clear. I'm not joking. This little book is more valuable to you young kids, you college kids. Even if you did graduate from college, you're wondering, oh, I don't have a job. This is more valuable than the former president of the United States. I wish I was joking. Now what? So, let's continue on. A young lady writes, Hey Cappy, please keep this anonymous. I hope you're doing well. I'm requesting a video for this advice. You often mention in your videos that IT and STEM majors deal with less human resources bullshit. Why is this? Does the greater competition for non-STEM degree jobs mean the employer is more picky? Thank you for your response. I stupidly majored in marketing myself. I graduate early this December. Thank goodness I'm without loans. I've been contacted most days by recruiters, but my boyfriend majored in computer science. He's contacted more often. Have a great day. Uh, yes, you exactly hit it here in your uh, last sentence, or second to last sentence in the previous paragraph. Does the greater competition for non-STEM degree jobs mean the employer is more picky? Absolutely. And I would even say to a sadistically mentally psychotic level, um, when you have people just throwing the resumes at themselves and you put you know, the guardians of, of the gatekeepers of uh, labor up their HR, these people get attitudes like you wouldn't believe. Um, and then your bosses, when you go and work, these people just abuse employees mentally, not physically, of course, because you can get away with that. Uh, but yeah, that's it. When, when you have you know, millions, you know, a classical example is, why are teachers paid so little? It's because every year, 25 million of you ditzy broads and some of you ditzy guys go major in this cocky pop, easy degree, because you want to help with the children. I want the teacher. I want to be a teacher. I want to change lives. No, that all translates into, I'm a lazy fuck who doesn't want to work hard and I'm shit afraid of math. That's what it is. So you're flooding the market with, mil not 25 million, but literally millions of education majors every year. Budgets are not increasing. The number of kids going to college are not increasing by millions every year. Because, <clears throat> you know, some new kids come when the millions go out. And so there's like just this glut of teachers and education majors like, now yeah, we're going to pay you 40 grand a year, so shut the fuck up. Why do, why do baseball players make more? It's just not fair. Yeah, well, that baseball player can hit a ball 400 fucking feet. Can you? Oh, and not to mention, people willingly will gladly fork over $60 a ticket to go see that guy swing a hit, a swing a stick at a sphere and hit it over a fence. Can you do that? Oh, no, but you can sit there and teach kids their ABCs. Well, fucking anyone can do that. A, you could replace elementary school teachers with competent eighth grade, you know, straight A students. They could come in, they could take over for, you know, reliable, responsible 14, 13 year olds. You could replace all the elementary school teachers with competent 14 and 13 year olds. You could. That's the same thing with your degree. Marketing has a little bit more worth to it than I'd say an education degree, but don't tell me that was a hard degree. Unless it was like a really math intensive, you're doing the statistical analysis of, uh, but that'd be more uh, statistics, actuarial science. But, oh, spend more on sales, make more in revenue, uh, or marketing. Spend more on ads, make more in sales. Really? Yeah, so, but yes, that's, that's why. It's harder to get a computer science degree. It takes more effort, it takes more intelligence, it takes more work. Uh, and that's why you're, and, and, and there's also the demand side, okay? So there's millions of marketing majors, millions of sociology majors, millions of communication majors. Well, how many computer science programs are, program uh, major, or, uh, majors are there? How many nuclear engineering majors are there? Not that many. And then, that, so there's a limited supply of these STEM and IT degrees. You take economics, then they make you take it. Uh, but then there's the demand. Well, what does everyone demand? You know, list of things that you want to buy. I want an iPhone, I want a computer, I want a smartphone, I want a car with digital shit in it. Well, your boyfriend's employed. You're not. You know, I'd like a heart surgery. Well, there's some doctors over there. Oh, I, I'd like um, gas. There's some petroleum engineers over there. So there's a lot more demand for IT and STEM degrees 
uh, and accounting and, and stuff like that, the, uh, degrees that go into making the stuff that society demands, then, you know, basically these make work hobby industries where you got to pull taxpayer teeth just to get them to open up their wallets a little bit so that, you know, Tina can go work a part-time social worker job at the community center. It's like, do you, do you want to be in demand? It, it, this, so this gets back to the original point. You want your degree to work for you, not only in commanding a higher wage, but you don't have to deal with the fucking bullshit and the attitude. All right? it, it's, it's basically, uh, it's an inoculation, a vaccination against HR ditzery and bullshit, against HR stupid questions and interviews. Not to mention, it makes sure that your boss doesn't give you any fucking lip. You don't tolerate the sadist, psycho, uh, psycho mental, uh, uh, power-tripping assholes that you probably will endure if you go into, like, try go working at a, at a car lot. <laughs> You're going to see egos working in marketing. Don't worry. All right? But that's, that's probably, uh, in, addition, uh, in addition to a high salary, I'd say a very close second, if not tied to it, is the less bullshit you got to deal with it, be it HR or your boss. Because, I mean, think about it. If you're a brain surgeon or a heart surgeon and your boss, the president of the hospital, says, hey, I don't like the shoes you're wearing. Oh, yeah? Well, fuck you and suck my dick. I'm going to the hospital next door where they're going to pay me more. I even remember a long time ago working in high school, my job was to call doctors and get them to switch hospitals. And they're just like, oh, yeah. And I had a buddy who's, whose dad was a doctor. Like, yeah, everyone's just calling. They, I mean, there is such demand for doctors, engineers, et cetera, et cetera, that they basically say, not only are you going to pay me, this petty, fucking, psychotic, sadistic, drama, middle school, power tripping bullshit, that never fucking happens to me. And your boyfriend can, I mean, every job is going to have its, its share of, of political bullshit. But engineers, doctors, and, and, and uh, mechanic people who have skills, they don't have to tolerate it because they'll just go somewhere else. You know, it's like it's like the hot chick, you know, the super hot chick. If the boyfriend doesn't pay for this, do that, isn't ripped, doesn't have a lot of money, she'll just go find another guy that has all that. Whereas not to not to besmirch your degree too much. But if you're a, a weaker degree, you're a sociology major, you're the fat, ugly chick, and nobody wants you. And you have to be nice. You have to date assholes. You have to date dicks. You have to date poor people. You have to date uh, uh, scumbag mullet-wearing fucks from Wyoming. Because that's all who's going to date you. So, you know, as is everything in life, we can talk beauty, or we can talk skills and degrees. It's worth putting the effort into becoming the best. Maybe you won't be the best, but at least aiming for the best. You want to aim for the best field. You want to aim for rigorous disciplines of studies that are also in demand. You want to work out. You want to be in shape. You aim for the best. Not everybody can be the best, but you, you aim for the best. You diet and in every aspect of your life. Because not only is it there's a, an argument for doing that for the sake of excellence and living your life, but it, it does make life easier. I've said it before. Um, my buddy, Min, Vietnamese dude, computer programming major. Um, he has had, an, even though for those short four years of his life, he had to study hard, you know, typical Asian nerd, ha, 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 make fun of him. Uh, the past, God, we're in our 40s now. Yeah, basically the past 20 years of his life has been infinitely easier than mine. And I majored in finance, which is what I claim today is a worthless degree, but it's not as worthless as fucking English. You know, there was, in theory, jobs in finance and insurance and, and the banking industries. Uh, but he had an easier time overall because he had to put in so much less effort dealing with politics and bullshit and corporate shit. He doesn't talk to HR ladies. He's like, no, I'm not talking to you. I mean, now I won't even interview with HR right now. But the point is, put forth the effort now while you're in college. I would go and get a different degree. I mean, maybe go get a two-year degree in computer networking or computer programming, something. I mean, maybe... Don't, don't throw away your marketing degree either. Maybe you're one of those rare people that actually is, does really good at marketing and awesome for you. You can make a lot of money for one of those few rare select people. Uh, but yeah, your boyfriend put in the, he, he took his, his, his punches early on. He took the knuckles to the face early on and now he's going to have it easy. He's, he's, and look, the economy's working for him. They are calling him. Recruiters are calling him more often than you. At least you're getting calls from recruiters. That's awesome. That's really awesome.
Um, but he going from henceforth, he is going to have an easier life than you because he put in the harder work than you did. And and I'm not I'm not trying to slam him. I'm just trying to tell you how it is. You're probably lied to when you're 18. Oh, if all your home the money will fly. I like selling things. Hey, at least you didn't like. I like three months a year off, and I'm a lazy fuck. At least you tried. At least you went into something where it's like, yeah, there was a, a logic to it. Um, but yes, it is it is a vaccination against bullshit. It's a vaccination against the HR dits, manipulative, sadistic, egomaniacal bosses, uh, corporate politics, office politics. Yeah, it's great. It's wonderful. Um, and I've never been in that position until I got self-employed. But now, yeah, I mean, I could see it even though I was never there being self-employed. I look at like, I'm not talking. If I ever had to go work for someone, I'd be like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Uh, but you can't say fuck you unless you have the degree and another job offer waiting. So, anyway, that's it. Those are bullshit degrees. Get this book, Worthless. Maybe not you. I think you kind of already understand. But for those of you who... What should I study? That sounds fun. And my parents say I should do whatever I want all the time because that's how and Obama said that too. Now, when you're done living in denial, uh, you know, join the real world and actually have an easier life. So, All right. Assholeconsulting.com. Tell family, friends, loved ones, enemies, and people you are genuinely indifferent about. Check out my books on Amazon and check out the Clary Podcast on SoundCloud.com. We'll see you kids later. Toodles.